Bourbon and Esports fans, welcome back to another game for the spring 2022 season here for Varsity Esports. And without further ado, let's go. Getting this started off on Oasis here for the Varsity match against Jackson Milton BHS versus Jackson Milton High School. Uh, we see a couple different heroes here, a couple different players as well. We have Sleepless on the Wrecking Ball. BHS Brendo uh, is going to be bringing out the Sigma. Uh, Yi has our Ana, Pineapple King of Farah. Not a hero they're usually on here, so that'll be interesting to see. Mm. Asteria on Mercy, another hero that we don't typically see out of that player. And then Sunwolf is doing the Kree here. Or rather, the uh, Cassidy. Cassidy. Yes, got to work on those changes. So quick rollout here from Sleepless. Coming out to one side is the rest of the team. Looks like they're heading uh, out to the right. Quick scout, I, maybe? I see, I see, I see. I know, calling out enemy heroes here. Approaching from the low ground here, kind of interesting. Oh, missed the boop. Yeah, but there is a fight in the background here. It's three three on the flank, uh, and three in this space here on the right-hand side of the assault. Really nice pressure coming out from Barberton. One pick I against Sleepless, but I think that they generated enough value from the hero that that pick is not mm. going to cause too many issues mm. for Barberton here as they're splitting up Jackson Milton, quickly taking down targets. And this is a quick point for Barberton. Rather, a quick uh, cap for Barberton. What are these heroes doing? They are way too far from Jackson Milton here. Barberton wisely punishing. Cree out a little bit far, or rather cast, I should say, but that should be all right. Exchanging fire here as Jackson Milton... Starts pressuring up before their whole team has reset. Will they be punished for this? Or will they get away with it? Hakuitrick going in the back. Getting the slap with the ball. Main uh, move there. Pretty, pretty strong. Not only that, but BHS Brendo, Sunwolf, Final King. Finishing them off. Left and right. Left and right. We see pick after pick after pick. Coming out of Barbara here. Look at that ult charge they built up. Absolutely. A lot of uh, really punishing gameplay to Robert and Jackson Milton making a lot of mistakes. Hard yeah, to like. it, it, a lot of just kind of yeah. trickling in one by one by one. Uh, we saw the same sort of thing coming out of Worcester, uh, I believe, when Robert and played them the other day. Uh, I think it was two matches ago. This is nothing like the match against NC Hoover the other day. Robert is united and strong against this opponent here, easily putting pressure on, capitalizing on their opponent's mistakes. Uh, once again, Wrecking Ball pushing out there. Putting on a lot of pressure from the ball here, but at the same time, oh, finally getting a pick. It looks like the Reaper came in a little bit too fast for the Kree to respond. Be just Brando trading back for that Kree. All coming All out. To keep them up. Oh, Very sleep big. comes up. Oh, Sleepless dropping down the mine. Big Amazing. Mine. Ults to clean up here. I mean, we've almost got 90% here, so they may as well use these ults to clean up. Every ult does not need to be a, you know, team wiping ult. Barberton, low on the ults though no. now, so if yeah. they're not it's careful, uh, great job here from Sunwolf here, using the ult, picking off one Both hero, like and setting so up staggered. a 5v6, yes, yeah, same thing, stagger again. They're so staggered, they, 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 they can't, like, no, no matter what ult they have, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're just panicking here, and you know, there's a Moira on point who says, hey, we actually have to put touch to the point here, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I, I really do want to say, I know it kind of went by pretty quickly, a lot of really good picks from everybody, I love that Sunwolf ulted right there uh, and just finished off a hero to set up a stagger for that final push rather than trying to go for some big, huge Kree place. And this guy is up pretty far. Why don't I just kill him? Nice move. Yeah. Good use of ultimate. Every ult does not need to be the uh, game-busting, uh, amazing finisher of an ult. Uh, every hero pick that an ult generates can be very, very valuable. It's nice to get those huge play-of-the-game moments, but... Uh, sometimes setting up the stagger and winning the next fight can be the play of the game. So there were uh, some great picks out of all of Barberton's players in that uh, fight. We saw some Nano coming out to keep the Sigma up and fighting in that last push there. Unfortunately, they got slept through that. Uh, but at the same time, I think that was the right call to make in the moment. I, it, just really, really nice work here. Uh, Wrecking Ball coming out again, taking some offensive positions here. Doing a bit of trading with some... I saw him shooting some glass over there. I wasn't sure if he was going for something. Pharmacy up in the air again. Pick from Sunwolf. Oh, I missed it. Uh, Pineapple Ensign King Mora. taking out the turret quickly, which is a nice move. Make sure that Torb's not going to get nearly the value they would otherwise. This hog's up really far. Now he's far underground as he is dead. Yep. yep. He's definitely dead, all right. The picks come Along out with, left and right, left and right. Barbara calling out targets, well. isolating their foes. Oh, Sleepless barely walking away there. As the Mercy says, hey, hold on. 
Let me let me uh, top you off. As he's like, no, and he grabs the mega health pack. <laughs> uh, I mean, perhaps they didn't want to pull the mercy, or they didn't realize that the mercy was on their uh, their their flank. They're ready to get the heal off. We'd like to see Barbara applying a bit more pressure here. This Reinhardt just walking up with shield. They should be cracking this shield before it even gets to this choke here. Uh, although Barbara's, you know, ahead at the moment, no reason to not push for the advantage when they can there. Um, they, they let them take a lot of space from that point to this choke. Now they're gonna, looks like they're punishing them uh, in this choke now quite, quite well, but at the same time, uh, don't give up space, you don't have to. Wrecking Ball pushing in again. Might be paying with his life here. Yep, they do indeed. Uh, Barbara and getting... Uh, a lot of picks in exchange for this, though. That turret's doing a lot of work. Purple comes down on the Rhine. What are you talking about? This is like all, all like their space. <laughs> Barberton does not want to go past this choke. Everything from here onwards before this choke is their space. It'd be a bad idea for Barberton to, to, to even go past here because those spawns right there. Well, no, I don't mean going past necessarily, but I do mean that you know as the enemy team is approaching, they should really uh, be spamming uh. into that Rhine shield uh, when they approach to get it cracked so that when they do get to this choke where they're going to be contesting more properly. Uh, I, I signal coming out here. Sorry, I should... Well, we can talk about the analysis after the match. Shatter here Absolutely. comes down, doesn't really uh, accomplish anything, it looks like. Some big picks coming out from... Uh, you know, I think it was press Q to win there a little bit. Uh, from the uh, Jackson Milton players. Final King getting out there, getting back to his team safely. Nice job on that. Um... It looks like they finally got a fight on there. Maybe Barbara overextended a little bit, uh, or maybe it was just a, a good use of ults and mechanics coming out from Jackson Milton. Hmm. Ult coming to Mercy? We might see, yep, yep. Using that uh, Mercy to kind of keep the damage boosted up, and I just think that, you know, there's really just on the enemy team, they just uh, don't have enough damage mitigation against Barbara in high school here. Barbara just putting out so much damage that I think that they really need another more barrier tank perhaps on the side of Jackson Milton if they want to take space against Barberton. Uh They've got some hit scans to try to deal with the Farah, but it's just not enough. This soldier is not contesting well enough, and I feel like Torb is not a super strong hero against Farah. Nice charge, taking out the enemy Ryan. Mines down to zone out the enemy heroes, and no one else is going to approach this point. This, this should be Barberton's. Moira trying her very best, but she's dead before her all even tickles Barberton very mm. much at all here. Very nice gameplay. Uh, back to the Absolutely. earlier uh, point here. Uh, when I was mentioning the uh, the Ryan approach, I didn't mean to actually take space on the opposite side uh, of the show, because you are uh, correct, uh, Coach Ethan, that that would be playing up way too close to their spawn advantage. But Barberton, I felt, should have maybe been occupying that choke and spamming out, where we, really, we only saw the Sigma really watching there. Um, I think that, uh, may, what do you think? Is that is that a viable strat to put more pressure on that Rhine shield as they approach, since they're just holding shield and walking forward just so, so slow? Well, the only, the only two people who really would have, maybe Farah too, even then Farah is too much for shield breaks. We had a Ball and a Mercy, um, who were not really a able to get, you know, because it's Mercy, but Ball also needs to set up. Uh, he, he'll get a lot more value from setting up for, for getting ready when they walk past the choke. You can slam down on their side, force them to back up a little bit, respect uh, the CC. A fair point. Uh, I suppose they really oh, only had the, uh, what, the yeah. Cassidy and maybe some Sigma and Farah spam they could have really thrown out there based on the heroes. I believe, I believe they, had, they had Soldier, Sigma, and Farah who were the only ones who would Soldier, really be able to throw right. in the front. Yeah. That's right. They would have taken a good chunk, but overall wouldn't have been we wouldn't have been Singing worth exposing them. themselves in that space. It just would have been. It would have really have been high risk or low risk. It would just. It would have taken into the shield a little bit. Either way, it's it's not very high impact. I understand. I see what it's you're all saying. Right in the end. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Well. Let's, that's fine. That's fine. You know, I just, you know, every every now and then I wonder, you know, is this the play? And I saw, you know, uh, that Ryan approaching so slow that I just thought, surely we can break the shield, but perhaps that was not the right call in the moment. Either that way, let's move on to the next match here, so that way we can take a look at what exactly Barberton's going to bring against the next round in the next map against Jackson Milton. And then also, uh, you know, it, can we push this to an easy 3-0 for Barberton, or is it going to be something where, you know, Jackson Milton's going to get their feet under them a little bit, the, the sort of strength back in their, 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 their spirits, and maybe coordinate a stronger offense against Barberton? 
Hopefully not for the Magics, because obviously that's the victory we want to see, but at the same time, you never know. Uh, so let's go to that map here in a moment. Welcome back, everybody, for the next map here on our exciting uh, round two, Kings Row against Jackson Milton High School. We've got a quick swap here before I start this thing up. Instead of uh, Ryan McInerney here, uh, we instead have Insane Caden, which is Caden Fincher here, over on uh, the Soldier 76, the DPS here. Without further ado, let's go. Kings Row defense here. Uh, Kings Row is probably the most played map, I think, in the ESO Overwatch Varsity League as far as... Uh, you know, the second map here is concerned. It's just such a basically strong everyone, map. Basically, everyone picks pick Kings Row. Who I, are you if you don't pick Kings Row? I can't what are you even doing? think of a time that anyone has picked something else. The map is just so well yeah. laid out. It feels good on defense. It feels good on offense. It's just a, a, a nice, well-made map. I'd say one of the best in Overwatch at the moment, as far as I it's can think. It's the Overwatch map. Yeah. Um, so, let's see what we've got here. Looks like they're going the... Ryan Zarya, uh, not a bad move on offense. On defense here, I would almost want to see maybe another barrier tank, uh, but we'll see. With that junk spam coming well, in hot. absolutely uh, should have worked out if they play correctly. Tank's taking space forward here. That junk spam is just persistent coming in, as it should be from the enemy team. Nice positioning by the healers up in these uh, safe spaces here. Uh-oh. Pick on Pineapple King by some random junk spam here. Tanks are up and isolated. I think they should be playing this corner more. Maybe not taking such a far up space where the the healers can truly only heal. They really can't see anyone to uh, 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 shoot from we there. Big charge from Alex Dietrich. Down he goes. Yeah, this is a different Jackson Milton. Either that or Barber is just taking up some bad positioning here. Uh, I usually like to see the healers up in these in those two spaces that they held, but. Um, they, they truly, based on the positioning of, uh, you know, the, the tanks, it looked like they really couldn't commit a lot of damage into that fight. And once the DPS were down, uh, Jackson Milton just walked in and took space. Barton's really starting to struggle here, actually. Maybe this is going to be a closer game than we thought. Look at that junk spam coming out and just... That's a weird spot for, for, uh, for Barton's tanks to be holding, but looks like he's going for a shadow right now. Yep, there yeah, comes there, the shatter. There it is. Cleaning it up, cleaning it up. Oh, that lamp coming out though. Lamp quickly turned off here. Sleepless, taking space yep. along Brennan Robo. Got the uh, ult out here. I don't even know uh, if, if that was necessarily needed there. Uh, but at the same time, I'd rather see lately, you know, Barbara's been holding yeah. the ults uh, really, really hard lately. And so I couldn't quite see the health bar there if perhaps he needed it for the top off or it was just making sure that that fight was cleaned up. Um, they did. They did. We're gonna fight there, although now they're they're going again. Although a lot once, of ults on the side of Jackson Delta. Yeah. We're gonna see some coming out this fight for sure. There's the shatter out. Here comes uh, the tire. Three ults so far from Jackson Delta. The tire gets destroyed. Down goes Sleepless. It took a while though. That was four ults. Was it? Oh, these are some nice ults. Combo out yeah, of Barber right. here with right, the window right. and the grab. Yeah. That's just uh, you know like a, a signal to the team. Blast in here. Delete these heroes. And Barber although completely for another round. Yeah, Jackson Milton commits three ults, Barberton throws two back and wins the yeah. engagement with just two. That's better ult economy, better ult usage. Maybe not a better ult economy in this moment, but definitely better ult usage, much more discipline. Mm. You know, did they really need uh, to, to throw all three ults almost simultaneously from Jackson Milton there? I would say no. Uh -huh. They had staggered them a little bit more. You know, maybe it would have worked. Still this Junkrat putting on pressure onto Barberton here. You just see the spam coming out again and again. I'd really like to see a Sigma here, to be That's honest. What's McCree doing? That's a bit of a risky play on the McCree's part. If this doesn't work, well, oh, there's, like... the, there's the Cree in the back. He gets an alt down, but it looks like Sleepless cleans up. They, the alt did not finish this, anyone, but that allowed 4K. Sleepless. Yeah, Just I saw. A 4K. Uh, oh man. That was yeah. Beautiful. Up in the up in the window here, we saw. It looked like uh, who was that on us? Uh, Hunter Adair, uh, knowing that the moment needed the burst of damage more than the finish. And I think that burst of damage lowered them enough so that the hammer came down from Sleepless there to help win that engagement. Going for the, the deep flank, very, very risky, but it paid off. The The focus of Jackson Milton was just on Barbara's front line here. So they were not watching that flank at all. Spam still coming out. These, A lot of these heroes, ooh, Monkey in the back line, is Yi going to be able to get out of there? Oh. Yes, Barbara 
moving over to adjust and help. Look at that wind. peel. Beautiful peel. Oh, can they get the tire? They do. Sorry, they stop monkey. the tire. Grav comes down. Looks like Barbara just fighting it out. Windows here to mitigate it. Uh, they're really just Man. all together here. It was, it's a little, a little bit of a cluster, a little messy. But at the same time, Barbadan is together. And as they say, uh, although the other enemy team, you know, has the the, the monkey, uh, Barbadan is showing that apes strong together, as it is said in Planet of the Apes. Absolutely. Un unfortunately for that monkey, when he was going for that Anna, uh, maybe he was looking for a banana peel, but but the peel that was there was uh, was definitely not from a banana, that's for sure. Oh, that was from Barbadan High School peeling for their supports. Wonderful play there. Yes, the, the only like I said, this this junk rat is a real danger though. Only thing that I really think is giving Jackson Milton any edge at the moment is that here the Creole come I down know. gets a pick on a support. That's huge. They didn't have a good angle on that, unfortunately. They see there's a hog back here. Are they gonna finish the hog off? As uh, Hunter Dare goes for a couple picks here and there on the side. I think the hog uh, did get picked there. Looks like yes. Oh, this soldier, what is he doing? He's just Soldiers looking pretty sus. Oh, did, did, did oh, no. the soldiers? Unfortunately, down goes Jackson down. Milton Soldier. Uh, I, I would say you know one of the issues with Junkrat, if you have a lot of uh, heroes with you sort of smaller health bars like this, if you don't have some shield to block for them, uh, you, you can't shield being dead. You know, one, yeah. one well placed shot from a Junkrat can just take your whole health pool almost. Unless you're Mercy, then uh, well, can, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just you got to be a little careful, is all. It looks like Barbara's using this kind of corner cover really well here. They've adjusted to this junk spam. And those who are in the kind of oh. danger zone up on the high ground. Ooh, nice fight coming out here. He's got him in his sights. Ooh, scary there for a Yo, moment. what's happening out. Grab comes down oh. to hold him in place, but Barbara unable here to break through that Ryan shield. Uh, they lost a lot in this fight, and I think they might know it's time to, to die or, or reset here. But, uh, ooh, yeah, as I was saying before, I think they should be able to get reset for this. Next push, I, I think they can stop it before it gets to the cart, or sorry, to the next point, but I, I'm, I'm not sure. It's going to be close. I think our, our heroes were using that high ground really, really well. They knew how to kind of duck and weave around that jungle. Are they going to be able to stop this, or is this going to put some more time on the clock? Looks like they might not get the touch here. Ooh, sleepless taking space, and we have to touch here. The box comes out. Lamp down two, keeping Sleepless up. Nice move from Asteria there. They're brawling it out. Brennan Robo with the uh, Nano on him off of Mikey. They clean it up. Denying Absolutely. second point. Let's see if Barbering put out a strong offense because I think that they had a lot more competition there on the first point than uh, uh, than they did in the last one. Jackson Milton was looking pretty nice coming out at the beginning there, capitalizing on some perhaps uh, maybe positioning errors or perhaps something else out of Barber. I, what, what do you think went wrong on that first point here? Uh, when Barber uh, was on defense. Well, they got the early pick up. I, I, I don't remember exactly who went down on that I first point. It was, I believe uh, it was the Cree, uh, rather yeah, than Cassidy. It, it was, it was one of the DPS and this, I think you said it was, uh, it was, it was a Cassidy. Yes. Uh, Junk just, spam. Space often is a battle of pressure between the, both opposing sides. If if one team has more pressure, the opposing team is going to 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 lose space. That's just generally how it works. Maybe losing losing that cast, he might have just just been an easy enough uh, way for Jackson Milton to just get the upper hand against uh, Barberton. Yeah, they definitely were able to capitalize on that. You know, turning a six v six into a six v five can really swing the momentum. Usually that other team can stabilize a little bit, but I think perhaps uh, just didn't react quickly enough, or maybe there was some other small mistake uh, that, that kind of combined with that. I'd love to take a look at that. Maybe we can review that footage with the team uh, at next week's practice a bit. I know they were definitely looking over that point at the beginning, and they, they had some thoughts uh, afterwards. So I think I had told the team, hey, take a look at that. I want to see if you guys can figure out what went wrong. Um, and they, they had some ideas, which I can't wait to share with you after this cast here, Ethan. Uh, let's see, Barbadan moving out, taking their space. Uh, yeah, looks turret. like they're going for turret. the Omnic Overlord up here. And they've got... Oh, they're up here. Uh, looks like they were tumbling around a little bit. Uh, Jackson Milton did not respond quickly enough to it. I know it looks like Asteria tried to get the uh, lamp up top there to protect the uh, Bastion on the off chance that uh, they tried to bust it up really quickly. Unfortunately, uh, Jackson Milton was not really even ready for it. Looks like there was a bit of uh, a tumble where 
they fell a bit down on the uh, Omnic here, but set back up on the head. Barbadan quickly taking the fight with the spray from up top, distracting and surprising uh, Jackson Milton here. A uh, swap off from the monkey, perhaps, here? What kind of swap are we going to see out of Sleepless? Uh, onto the Arisa here. Looks like they're going to stick really with the Bastion odd. Strat here, and maybe uh -oh. go for more traditional cart. Hunter Dare Still gets a pick trap. on the turret here. Yeah. Looks like they're trying to decide if they want to fight this Hog and Moira over here. Getting the Moira, no problem. Hog, are they going to chase down? I think the answer is yes. I should be being oh, pushed by the looks cart. Like, unfortunately, though, yeah, I'm getting pushed by the cart. Uh, looks like we do lose our uh, uh, Genji him go. in exchange. Oh, he's dead. Making this corner, looking a little rough for Barbara, and it's, it's They're taking a 3v5 uh, or 6 right here, so maybe it's time to back off. Nice sleep coming out. Waking him up. Wish they were pulled a bit yeah. better than he made the goal there. Oh, they finish it off, though. Nice moves. Is Genji going to kill this Zenyatta? Looks to be so, but... Yeah, we got a Who Genji knows? in the background here. Well, that goes on Nano on uh, Sleepless here. Getting some pressure. The tank's moving up and taking space. Trying to get that damage amp out here. Making some use out of this uh, ult here. Really putting pressure on all the heroes. Calling out good targets, looks like. While that's going on, I mean, what's this What's this Zen doing? Just hanging out in the back trying to live. But he's not going to live for this spray of bolts here. Oh, no. Absolutely. Looks like the Bastion is down. But I don't think it matters. With the box out, Barbara's just going to be able to spray through this and take the point and get themselves map number two. And Jackson Milton has absolutely ceased the resistance after that after that uh, point capture there, because of course now the map is over. That was a really weird um setup for for Jackson Milton on, on that first on, on their defense of, of the map. On they the first very, point you were talking about there. Yeah, that was a very confident setup and the completely wrong space to set up. That that was a really uh, a good against, hero comp and, and maybe a good idea. Yeah on paper, but the execution just didn't fall, uh, kind of go through, and because of that, Barberton was able to just kind of walk right into that first point. Mm. Uh, even even with a few uh, stumbles and stutters on their favorite meme strat, the Omnic Overlord. Uh, mm. they're not sure how well that'll play against a more seasoned opponent, but here it's uh, certainly one that sows some chaos in, uh, uh, in the enemy uh, ranks if they're not used to it. <laughs> Well, why don't we end this map here? We'll, we'll go to the uh, the next map and see if it's the last one for Barberton or if perhaps it, uh, Jackson Milton can get some more momentum. I mean, they looked pretty good, or at least were able to really capitalize on their push at the beginning of uh, their offense on King's Row. Will they take a map from Barberton today, or is it going to be a Barberton magical sweep? Well, let's find out after this next map. Let's see what this final map has for us, Barberton. What is it going to be? Well, without further ado, let's go. And we've seen, we've got a couple swaps here. Uh, BHS Brendo over on the support role this time. Uh, we've got Yi on uh, his Zen over here. And actually taking up the Ana this time is uh, Brendan. Uh, we've got Caden this time, Fincher, over on the Monkey on Tank. Looking to maybe run him on tank a bit more, trying to feel out how uh, that player may do on this roll here. Uh, and then Sunwolf is going to be working on the snipes this time uh, over on the Widowmaker. We're looking for a really strong Widow at some point. Uh, to you know, Widow can so change the pace in the course of a game as they just deny space so very well if they Absolutely. can hit those headshots and put that pressure on. And that's what we're hoping to see here. Oh, hey, the, the fight was going well. Dang, now we're down three people. Yeah, that's exactly what a Widow can bring to the table. Looking at uh, the approach from here. Oh, wow. Uh, nice pick from Brenda there. Often softened up a little bit. They might have just had the finisher there, but wow, nice nice pick. Pineapple wow. Getting, Denying that was. That Mercy doing on the... That was a little strange. Mercy was a little far up there. Sunwolf gets the pick. Says, I'm the sniper in this map. Ash, you're going to have to sit back down and go back to spawn. Another pick. These snipes are coming out left and right, left and right. Love to see it. Let's break this shield and make some clear space for these Widow shots to come. Another one on the support. Would these supports keep going down like this? You know, how is Jackson Milton ever going to even leave their spawn? The answer is I don't, I don't know that they're going to get very far. Monkey goes in, putting the tickler on him. Yi getting the pick, finishing there. Final king in the background. I mean, Bart is basically forcing them into spawn at this point. 
Yeah. Can I get the finish it's on this Mercy back here? I think not. Playing a little greedy there. A little too close to spawn. But I feel like Barbara might be able to get away with it in this moment. Is it a good move? No. Is it one that they're going to be punished mm. for? Not that likely if these last two maps have been any uh, indication. Oh, well, looks like nice on uh, Jackson Milton Sombra here picking off Widowmaker. And that signals to uh, Sunwolf it might be time to swap. Too bad they weren't able to get the ult off before they died uh, to give some extra vision, but I don't know if Barbadan necessarily needs a nice pickup here. Oh. Oh, the Arisa lives, but not for long. Uh, that fortify allowing her to get out of that, but looks like she's she's gone she's gone down. Is that a full team wipe? Just just Not nearly. Quite. Just nearly. Uh, still, very close to it. I'll swap onto the Kree from uh, some wolf you mentioned. Yes, is hoping to get some oh, value here. Throws the flashbang, which is into the shield. Should have should have maybe waited till that rectangle to go on. Uh, but at the same time, unloading into this Arisa. With the monkey coming in the background, and the, ooh, the blade comes down. Unfortunately, punched out pretty quickly by uh, the enemy Doomfist. But at the same oh, time... Oh, my Tyson, because he got punched out. Yeah, right. Looks like Barberton is still doing what well. That Doomfist was very confident diving in there, but I think the rest of his team forgot to follow up. Barberton not punishing that hard, though, for it. Monkey comes down with the slaps. Ult coming out, slapping him into spawn, saying, go back in your home. Giving him the Adam Sandler. All right. Over here, looks like this uh, Mercy trying to keep up their team, but no. Uh, Hunter Dare with the double finish off the dash there. I don't know if it was two dashes or just the one that kind of connected through both, but Barberton pretty looking pretty solid on this map. Really not a lot of space being uh, given to Jackson Milton here. Oh, that Ryan ults out, out, but it's more of a desperation ult than anything else. Yi coming down saying, hey, let's just take oh. this space. Wow, Sun Wolf. I didn't even see where he was standing. Was oh, he, he was up in the corner. He was midair. He was midair? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to go back and watch that. I, I, I got to see that one. I see the monkey hit him in the air. Wait, no. There's no way. How, how was he in the air? Doomfist? I don't know, but we're going to have to see that again later. I, I missed it on my angle, so we'll have to take another look at that because there's no way we're missing that. Up in the air, down they go. Fortify comes out, but man, already these big picks out of Sleepless here. Sigma play, just just going great today. Wow, look, is this a 4K from Sleepless? Nice. Just the support everywhere on Barbara, just doing amazing things. Back here, looks like somebody was in the back line, and they did, it did not work out well for looks like the Doomfist. Looks here. like, especially at the end, uh, Sleepless, not only was he Sigma, but he was also the, the, uh, the Sigma male as well, with that, with that 4K at the end there. I mean, I mean, Sigma's pretty far down the Greek alphabet, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure how how good that would be. I think you're looking for the alpha male more than the sigma male. Was it alpha, beta, gamma, delta? Oh man, after Sigma's this, pretty far down there. after this, I think um, I think you might want to look up your uh, your your internet nomenclature, update it a little bit, or else uh, or, or else Alec might blame you. I might, I might have to, oh, I might have to take a look at that. I, I, I don't remember my Greek alphabet. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Perhaps it is a meme I'm not privy to. That being said, yeah. let's take a look at Jackson Milton. What they're rolling out here looks like a similar lineup to what they had before. Not too very different. They seem to favor the hog on defense, uh, or at least maybe, maybe on defense. I suppose they had it on their offense last uh, push as well. Oh, no, that was on defense. They, yeah, they do seem to like their hog on defense, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know if these this lack of barriers is going to be enough to deal with Barberton's damage that they're going to put out here on this offense. Offensive sniper on Widow, interesting. Okay, there's Indeed. the junk rat. I was going to say, I wasn't sure that Widow would be the play here. I'm not saying it could be bad. In fact, with this lack of barriers, it may actually have worked here, but... Also, just a big, wide-open What is this area Doomfist space. doing? Oh, he's dying? Yeah, oh, no. why was he up there? More like it's his doom. Yes, exactly. He's dead. It's a doom fest for Jackson Milton right here as Barbara pushes yeah. in. Pineapple King in the background. Monkey comes up. Barbara's taking so much. Oh, just just oh, wiping them. Are they going to get the full team kill? While this is going on, I know, I believe Yi had said, I'll ride the cart, I'll ride the cart. You guys just go for the finishes, which is exactly what Barbara's doing here. Look at this doom staggering himself. It's, it's, Why uh, is he out it's, here? It's Why it's is he mine. out here? 
Well, the support said, just let's just ride the cart. Let's ride the cart all yes. the way to victory. Quick barber and win there. Um, yeah. If you can really quickly, while we're talking about this win, could you roll your footage back? Tell me the timestamp on our uh, little blue bar down here to see that Cree alt that came out of, or rather the cast. Sorry, I got to get used to Cassidy. Uh, the Cassidy alt uh, from Ryan McKinnerty. I know, I he was up in the air or something. I, I really want to see that. Uh, Jackson Milton. Uh, so. As far as our opponents have gone this season, definitely putting up a stronger show than what Worcester had, but really no match for BHS. Though, remember, don't get too big of britches, BHS. Uh, we still have NC Hoover that has uh, taken at least one of our wins from us this season. Here. Looks to be. What's looks that? To be. Uh, looks to be 3, 356 here. Let's get a 356. first person, uh, Let me go back to that so I'll see if I can find it here on our things. I really wanted to take another look at that. I'm going to put it to 350 for a moment. Uh, pause it and then uh, let's see let's take a look I'm gonna slow it down try to find this uh, this play here so let's see where's our Cree here oh yeah there he's over there so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit play get this on half speed I just want to see what happened I saw that he had ulted but uh, he got the 3k I believe tries to finish off the Moira here okay he all comes out Doofus knocks him up in the air but uh, all that does is give him a better vantage point to hit everybody from. Wow, that was sick. And then we've got uh, Yi keeping everybody topped off here with his ult on the other side. So kind of uh, ult from two flanks here for Barberton, uh, getting this really, really nice, uh, looks like a defensive hold here. That, that was, I did not expect him to be up in the air like that. That was pretty great. Uh, with that, let me go ahead and just kind of roll us back to the end, end uh, screen here. Um, I thought I'd roll it to the end screen. Uh, with that, Barberton High School takes, uh, as I said, a win against Jackson Milton, 3-0. Uh, we'll see you guys on our next cast. Uh, Barberton currently is 2-1 and one for the season, with NC Hoover being the only uh, school who has taken a uh, map from them so far. Or rather, not a map, but a, a set from them so far. Uh, NC Hoover is probably going to have the top seed in this, which means that uh, if Barberton can keep pushing... They may be able to get the second seed. It really depends on the competition from the next couple of opponents that they'll face. I believe they're going to be facing Champion High School and then uh, Biomed, I believe, uh, STEM Biomed. Uh, but there may be another opponent in there as well I may be forgetting. Either way, uh, it le looks like Barberton may still be able to make it to the playoffs if they continue uh, winning and then going to uh, the regionals. But then they're going to face some of the big dogs in the area. NC Hoover, of course, will be there, I would one would assume, as well as... Uh, Shaker Heights, who knocked Barberton out of the playoffs last season. Uh, and if Barberton is second seed in this uh, side of the bracket, that means that NC Hoover has put them against Shaker Heights for the playoffs. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, the, it's great to see how this confidence, but um, there's still a lot of matches to go uh, for the season and also uh, a lot of improvement that Barberton can still have. So with that, we'll see you next time, Barberton Esports fans. Thank you for joining us.